Hi there, it's Miss Heather here at the Stuart C. Meyer Harker Heights Public Library. Today I am going to be sharing a story with you called Little Owl Snow. This is a story that we are going to have available on YouTube, but it's also going to be available as a story walk out at the park. And as you go around and read the story, there will be QR codes that you can scan and it will actually show me reading the story to you. So you can have me read it or you can read it as you walk along and look at the different pages and things. So that is a great opportunity for you to spend with family or friends um, at the park, getting a little fresh air and also read a nice story at the same time. So we are going to go ahead and get started. This is Little Owl Snow by, hold on, her name is unusual, by Divya Srinivasan, and this is, we're reading this with permission of Scholastic Inc. Little Owl Snow. A chill cut through the forest. Little Owl fluffed his feathers. Something is happening, he thought. Green leaves turned orange, gold, and brown, and then began to fall. Geese flew off to warmer places, navigating by starlight and honking all the way. Dry fallen leaves rustled and crackled as animals scurried, preparing for the cold. Bear was eating all day and into the night. Winter's almost here, Little Owl said. Isn't it exciting? Winter's too cold, Bear shuddered. I'm staying in. Bear sleeps through all the fun, Raccoon whispered. You'll see. Bats disappeared into a cave. Caterpillars closed up their cocoons. Bye, Hedgehog called. See you in the spring. And he wiggled into his warm winter home. Little Owl thought he saw a moth, but it was only a leaf in the wind. The forest felt so empty now. Ha! The friends were making fog when it happened. Soon the forest was blackened and blanketed in snow, its crystals glinting in the light. Tracks began to appear. Not everyone was hidden away. Little Owl hopped atop the frozen pond, watching fish swimming underneath. How strange it and wonderful it all was. But one night, Little Owl started to miss Hedgehog. Mama, Little Owl asked, how much longer till spring? Snow is like a special secret not everyone can know, Mama said. Are you ready for it to melt away so soon? The forest was very quiet. Little Owl could hear the smallest sounds. An icicle dripped onto a patch of slush. Mama told Little Owl he would see fireflies again. He would see Hedgehog too, soon enough. Right now though, it was time to enjoy the snow. And that's the end. I hope you've enjoyed this story and seeing the lovely pictures and um, as you walk around the park. Um, we will be putting out a new one again in a month or so, and we will see you then. Enjoy, bye-bye.